Good morning, I'm Dr. Robert Rutledge and today I'm joined by Dr. Hans Berendez and uh, we're going to talk to you about medical tourism. You have some experience with this? Yes, uh, my name is Dr. Hans Berendez and I am Dr. Rutledge's anesthesiologist and um, I was discussing with Dr. Rutledge uh, the fact that many patients um, have been have a tendency to travel to uh, foreign countries and third world countries to have either plastic surgery procedures or um, the uh, bypass procedures, gastric bypass procedures, or the uh, band procedures. And I have been noticing when we um, operate on these patients for revisions or for um, surgical or medical emergencies that uh, they um, have a uh, tendency to develop infections or problems with uh, various bacteria that are found in or, in, or are indigenous to uh, these uh, foreign countries. So you're seeing patients who have decided, I'm going to go to Mexico, I'm going to go to other countries and get a less expensive surgical procedure. And when they get the procedure, sometimes there are some problems with infections relating to the to the surgical procedure and uh, we have found that uh, there are many um, antibiotics that are used in uh, various uh, countries uh, that um, are not prescribed and so there is a lot of uh, usage of antibiotics that are not prescribed by medical doctors in these countries and there's a lot of uh, resistant bacteria and some very bad infections uh, that uh, patients uh, succumb to um, when they travel abroad. Right, so one of the things we've seen is people going to uh, other countries for lap bands and we've seen perforations and infections and things like that and uh, that's been a problem. And I guess you've seen some plastic surgery patients with uh, serious infections. Right, and we have uh, more of a tighter control over um, the usage of uh, prescribed antibiotics and we have a lot of uh, issues that actually are put into place in the United States of America to control um, uses of antibiotics so that we do not develop more and more resistant strains of bacteria that are unable to be treated. But it, however, in uh, third world countries, um, what happens is patients acquire these bacteria, they get infected, they get super infected by these bacteria and then they come to the United States for um, medical treatment and we have a hard time treating the patients or revising the surgical procedures um, especially from a plastic surgery standpoint that they have had in other countries. Right. So let's be careful out there.